Well, this was a frustrating week, so let's get this over with. It's this week with Big C. Sorry if I seem a little down on what happened this week, because I really don't have much to report that's good. Actually, nothing to report that's good. This was a pretty te terrible week, for the most part. And you'll see why when we get to the recap. But hopefully, things will start to improve soon. That's the hope, anyway. So, let's just go ahead and get to the recap. Hey everybody, it is Sunday, and I haven't really done a whole lot today. I pretty much spent the day doing a couple errands. Uh, I was planning on going to the doctor and doing my laundry. Neither of those happened today. The doctor's appointment I pushed back until next week, and not next week, I mean Friday. So not, not less than a week, but still a little ways back. And the main reason why is because financially I'm not doing particularly well right now. So the cost to go to the doctor, unfortunately, would be to the point where I would have basically no money and I'm just not comfortable going a week without any money whatsoever. So I pushed it back. Um, I will go on Friday, though. I should have a little bit of money at least, so that will be good. And then the laundry situation, because, you know, my complex has such a sterling track record when it comes to our laundry room actually functioning. Uh, Corey reported today that apparently the laundry room is not taking cards. It is functioning technically, but you can't pay with a card or I'm assuming with your phone as well, which of course is how we pay. So it sounds like I'm going to have to at some point go get quarters, which requires me to purchase something, which is unfortunate, but you know what? I will do it at some point in order for me to actually do laundry. So that sucks. Unfortunately, that means I'm not going to have clean clothes for tomorrow. I, I still have a little bit left, so I should be okay for at least a day or two, but I, I need to do my laundry. And of course, every time I need to do my laundry, the laundry room is not functioning because that's just my luck. So, well, we'll see what happens, but that's, uh, that's all I got so far today. Great start to the week, I guess. Hey everybody, it is Tuesday. And uh, don't have a whole lot to report from this week, honestly, so far, at least. Today was not a great day, mostly because of an unfortunate situation. Essentially, I only have one pair of shorts that I can wear at work because costuming doesn't have any in my size, even bigger than my size. The size I've been wearing is like four sizes too big, so it's freaking huge on me but it's the only one they've got and they ripped today so i currently have no pants for work uh, i had to get through my entire shift with ripped pants i was able to pull it off thankfully but now i have to kind of scramble to get a new pair of pants before work on thursday so here's hoping i can pull that off but other than that not really much to report just not a great day at work got home and chilling that's that's really all i got i i have a very sinking suspicion this is gonna be a very boring episode this week but who knows maybe by the weekend more things will happen so that's that's all i got it is saturday i know i haven't filmed that many updates this week uh because a lot has kind of happened and most of it bad you know i don't like to dwell on bad things but when that's pretty much all that happens this week you kind of have to just roll with the punches one of them i'm not gonna talk about just because it's kind of a personal matter so i'm just gonna leave it at that but it's not great but i will follow up on my pants situation because that didn't really improve at all really uh so i took the next day off after Tuesday because I figured well I need to go to costuming to get some pants so I attempted to do that and I actually contacted Matt 
because he happened to be off on Tuesday. So I figured, well, great, uh, he can come over, we can go grab food after, hang out for a little bit, and I can get some new pants. So he got here kind of late, and my original thought was costuming closed at 3.30, so I had enough time, it should be good. There's a lot of traffic after he got here. We got to costuming at 3.02, and when I walked up, I discovered costuming closed at 3. I'm like, great, that's a problem. But I figured, you know, they just closed, so there should be someone, like, around so I can let them know, like, hey, this is kind of an emergency. I need to get more pants. Nope, they were all gone <laughs> by 3.02. So I never got new pants. So I'm sure you all are asking, what did I do? What any MacGyver type person would do which is I super glued the holes and it got me through the next day I was not comfortable at all because the super glue was kind of hard and you know when I stood certain ways it kind of scratched my thighs but I got through it I survived uh, so now I I still have to get new pants I don't know when that's gonna happen I right now can't really afford to go just because it costs me money to go to costuming because it's not attached to the park. So I don't really have the spare funds I need right now to go get new pants. So that one messed up pair is all I got for a while. I am going to wash them and then uh, after they're washed and cleaned, I will re-super glue them so that they'll at least survive hopefully for one more week before I can finally get them replaced. We'll see what happens. So that was a thing. Not exactly the most pleasant, but it is what it is. I also went to the doctor on Friday and I don't really have anything to report from that just because it was a follow-up appointment. I did get some blood work done. So hopefully that will further determine what's going on. I did tell my doctor though that the two medications they prescribed me helped a lot for the one week that I was taking both. And then once the steroid ran out, some of the problems came back and the doctor was basically said, yeah, I figured that would probably happen. So it's still better than it was but now I'm getting soreness back in my knees and my hands. Uh, the pain in my feet is still better than it was, but it's not as great as it was when I was taking both the medications. So little improvements, hopefully the blood work will help determine what exactly is going on. And from there I can try to find a more long-term medication or, or figure out exactly what I need to do to kind of get these problems fixed. So here's hoping something comes out of that. But yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much all I'm willing to talk about. Like I said, there was one other thing, but I'm not going to talk about it just because it's a personal matter. And uh, I, as much as I do enjoy sharing things on social media, there are some things that are too personal and are, I'm not willing to share. So this one I'm not willing to share. But anyway... Yeah, that's, uh, that's all I got for this pretty terrible week. So back to me in the studio. All right, so here's a preview of an upcoming video that will air later this week. Check it out. Detective Big C is back on the case as I tried to determine once and for all the mystery of the identity of the mystery Pop-Tart. Let's see if we can decipher the clues figure out who this is. Okay, so before we wrap up, I did want to kind of issue a challenge, but also issue a bribe. So if you've been following the channel for a while, we are pretty close to hitting a thousand subscribers. That's been the goal for the last several years is to hit a thousand subscribers. And we're very slowly, but surely getting to that point. We're just about to hit the 800 subscriber mark. So I want to issue you all a challenge. If this channel can hit 1000 subscribers and the Big C TV Plays channel can hit 500 subscribers before the end of 2021, I'm going to do a giveaway. Now, what kind of giveaway is going to depend on what channels hit what milestone. If just Big C TV hits 1000, it might be something a little smaller. If Just Big CTV Plays hits 500, it might be something a little smaller. If one hit 500, one hits 1,000, we're gonna do something fun. So, if you want to see me do 
giveaway. We're giving away some cool stuff because I know you probably want some cool free stuff and I will pay for shipping. I will do whatever as long as you live in the US, no international shipping. But if you live in the US and want to win some cool stuff for helping us reach some major milestones, recommend your friends hit the subscribe button. If you haven't already done so, hit the subscribe button on both Big CTV and Big CTV Plays and you might help us crest those milestones and hopefully we can do some fun giveaways to celebrate. Anyway, that's gonna do it for this episode of This Week with Big C. Thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed it. New videos on this channel air four days a week, so hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell. That way you know when new videos drop. And I will see you next week on This Week with Big C. Bye-bye.